My research is concerned with the field of space robotics, uh, which is the application of physics and computer science to space exploration. And it's all about uh, the process of getting more science for your money out of space missions. Ever since I was a young child watching the Apollo moon landings, I've been in greatly inspired by space. And uh, when I got the chance to work here on space robotics, so robots and space uh, by the seaside, it doesn't get much better than that for me. I think it's a really exciting field. Um, it inspires uh, young minds and new students. And it's something I'm really glad to be working on. It has tangible results. I think the benefits of space research are twofold, really. Um, in a very tangible sense, it advances our knowledge of the universe and, and hence of Earth. But also, uh, a lot of the techniques and the engineering used in space has spin-off applications on Earth. For instance, one of the cameras we're working on um, has applications to precision agriculture. We're also working on stuff which um, is potentially useful in a medical context as well as a space context. Also, I think just the fact that we are finding out new things about the universe and the way it works and is there life on other planets? These are really important questions which inspire whole generations. The role of our students in our research is, is uh, sort of manifold. Um, for instance, we have, because we're a cross-disciplinary group, uh, we include both physics and computer science, uh, we have had PhD students working on um, very mechanical things like uh, how to operate robotic arms, uh, vision processing techniques from computer science, how to recognise rocks and identify good science targets. But we've also had students from physics and from earth sciences working on how do we make sense of all the data that our cameras and other instruments capture, how do we turn them into real science, into geology and chemistry and, and physics of, of other worlds. What makes Aberystwyth University so special is that partly we have, although we're small, we have a, a large footprint in this area. From the early days when we were involved in the Beagle 2 space mission, um, we have uh, punched above our weight in this area by um, enthusiasm and deep knowledge of these subject areas. In fact, the whole UK area of space robotics really kicked off after Beagle 2 as a result of the collaborations that were formed then and we're still benefiting from that today. We, we're involved in multiple European projects involving partners from all over Europe um, advancing this, this sort of knowledge and feeding into both real space missions and also sort of earthbound projects. What was I like as a student? Well, that's going back a, quite a long way. Um, uh, I think it was a little easier on the pocket in those days, um, uh, but it was just as exciting as it is today. Also in, in space research, the Voyager probes had not long been launched. There was all that exploration of the outer solar system going on and this really excited me. I was able to get a post here um, after doing my, my degree and my doctorate um, working in space robotics and it, I, honestly it's been the most exciting job I've had to date and I wouldn't give it up for anything. Mm -hmm.